open, open. Hello guys, it's Joseph Redstone and Drayden2 here, and welcome to ATPG Labs. ATPG Labs, and um, we have developed a code where basically you can have um, a redstone key, or um, possibly like carpets where you can um, throw down the code into it, and it will activate a door. So yeah, and also um, we've also developed weird skins. Oh yeah. Oh, you, look, you look weird. Yeah, I do, I do look weird. You look yeah, weird. well it's kind of a, a short April Fools off. Um, of Mojang. Mojang themselves. If you use a texture pack, it fixes it. Well, oh, does it? Texture yeah. pack, yeah, and it screwed me up. But there you go. Ah, anyway, okay. So I'm just going to demonstrate it um, again on basically what's going on here. So um. Yeah. So this um, I'll like go, go for the in. explanation. Turn a torch on this wall. Opens a double pit extender right here. Down there is a hopper. You throw the code down. Or yeah. as shown, go do so. now. Yes, now. Okay, go, I'll yes. do it. Okay, all right. Right, 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 and it'll bounce around on the hopper because the hopper's locked. But, but, but you can click turning this. the torch key will and unlock it, it. Oh, and then yeah. it'll open, and the code will get spat out back to you in this wall yeah. behind you. Yeah, which is pretty awesome, and um, I like the way you've actually got some shelving here, which turns into stairs. Yeah, because it does awesome. kind of look like shelving, really, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I'm gonna stand on it where you where you're gonna put it out. Yeah. Wee! In, out, out. Yeah, those sound effects. It drove me nuts. We were on Hypixel earlier, and uh, it was just hurting our heads so much. Everyone was yeah. just like, sand, sand, gravel, gravel, but pow, shut up. But, yeah. Um. So, anyway, we quickly got outside and shaved the redstone contraption itself. It's kind of a yeah. mystery. I'm gonna we be were, yeah. I, I didn't bother compacting it. I was just trying to make something up as I go along, you know? And this is what it came out as. Yeah. So, there you go. There's a bit more underneath. You can also hear some of my uh, villager music coming in. It's a freaking pain. But um, what we're going to do now is show you actually on how to build all this and have your own one. We'll make it a little bit simpler if we can. But um, yeah, we'll we're see talking about we're, yeah, we're talking about the uh, the torch key with the paper. Yeah. And the door. Uh, not not everything. Otherwise, you don't want a big mess like this. Yeah. Okay. We we'll show you it in bits to, just to break it down and make it a bit easier. So, Joseph. If you have your wall right here. Yep. I'm gonna have a, like I'll just put it as a free by free. Free, free. Very nice. That's your wall, and say this was your, where your torch is gonna be. All right, I'm gonna get myself like a coloured wall just to indicate that that's where the redstone goes. If you come round the back, okay. Whee. And place three blocks like that. Oh, actually, don't place this one yet. Uh, place a redstone torch if you come on this side. Place a redstone. Oh, mm -hmm. place a redstone yeah. torch there. Got an aerial view going on here. It's very nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Then stand in your ha. And place a piston facing this way, so out that way. So you can delete that block now. Then on this side, you place a block here. So two blocks here, and a block up. Then if you get your redstone and your repeater, place redstone there, repeater there, and one tick. on one tick. Awesome. And on top, and it's going into this block, and on top of the block will be redstone dust. Then I will place a block here. So that, if I place a uh, stone block there. If you come on this side, when you place the resin torch, uh, it pops out of the wall. Place resin torch, pops in, pops out, pops in. Every time you put a resin torch. If you want that, that's you done. Very, Annotation very nice. on the screen to skip to the next part if Drayden remembers. Oh, uh, on in. Yeah. Right, right. And then if you, uh, yep. If you want to have the opposite have the, way. Yeah. If no, if you want the part where. 
Oh, hang on, my mind's gone blank, guys. If you want the w it to come out of the w uh, go in the wall and come back out of the wall, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> then you just place a redstone here and a block up like this. Okay, so what you've pretty much added to this, these two bits of walls that you've added and the redstone yeah. dust on top. Let me just redo that then. Yeah, so be one, wall like that, wall like two, that. and redstone dust there. Yeah, and, and basically, then, yeah. place your torch. Oh. Not that one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and there we go. And then you just hook this up to whatever device you want. Now, part of the game code, this gives a one tick pulse. So, part of the game code is if you put a piston here, it's likely that this won't actually extend. If it does extend, it'll spit out the block. See, it doesn't there. Okay. So, what you do is test the other faces. So, you test this face here on top of the block. There you go. That and there we go. It's part of the block. Now, what you can do with this is replace it with a redstone block. And then when you put a, put a torch on the wall, spit out the redstone block, and you can have an output coming from this redstone block. So as you'll see, uh, I'll indicate this with a lamp. As you can see, the lamp's on. Okay. When you put the torch key on, it's off. And when you press it on again, it's on. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. And that's the, the uh, torch key. Awesome. Part one done. Hello, and we are back. So this is part two. So, Joseph. Sure, yep, got? okay, uh, for the item code detector, that's what I'll call it, uh, what you need is a shape like a this. Like that, and then like that, and then no, like I that, and then delete that. Item code detector. And then like that, okay. Then you place a torch here, a repeater there, and okay. redstone along the top, except for this one, where you will place a comparator facing that way. Got it, okay. Okay, now this is your hole detecting system, and you can tile this out as many blocks as you want. So you can do that like this. And I just want to show you on camera for a second. If you do this, and then do the next step that I'd show you, it'd be a item sorter. So if you have a chest, um, just in your base somewhere, and you you know you're not you don't really want to go put in everything and sort everything out yourself it'll put them all in there for you and that's what a sorting system does now awesome. if you want to come out two blocks like that and then go up about three blocks doesn't matter how many blocks you go up how many blocks you need then place uh, pistons on all the faces of them blocks and then delete them so you basically got this okay you come out a few blocks with the um, hoppers they're all facing that way Yep. Every hopper in this design faces, uh, if I just open up F3, south, that okay. way. So then out of here, you want a line of uh, iron blocks. Well, any with blocks, a, to be fair, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah, any blocks. Uh, with a comparator and a repeater. This will detect if there's an item in this, uh, what you call it. So if I put an iron block in it, it'll detect. Yep. That is in there, and if I take it out, it'll say, "Oh no, there ain't no items in here." And then it will worry and all go depressed and turn off. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so basically, what you got here is something where you just chuck the item in, and nothing happens. That's because in here you need to put 18 items plus uh, in the first slot, and then plus one item in every other slot. So if you're looking inside the hopper here, uh, just looking for it. Which one are you looking at? Uh, actually, one sec. Uh, give me a code. Um, this one works. We call this one just to make it easy. I was tempted to put Blood Fox sucks, but you know we we're gonna be nice yeah. this time. So yeah, we put like a, a, a correct code, and also we we show you guys one which won't work later. But okay, yeah. Like, we didn't mean right, so I got this. Uh, if you want to check this out, it's up here. Yep. Okay, so let's open it. So this, this one, one works. works all in one word. So okay. in this one, see the. Comparator is coming out of this one right here. Yeah. Then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to fill in every one of these. Then I'm going to put 18 in the first slot. There we go. And one, two, three, four. Got it. Now what this will do? See this comparator has d discovered that there's items in there, but it doesn't let them through. That's because this torch down here has it on lockdown. So uh, this. Okay. This redstone torch is locking this uh, hopper. Uh, so, because the redstone torch is locking this hopper down here, uh, the items up in this hopper can't travel down to this hopper. Which means, 
Uh, because there's 18 and 19, 20, 21, because there's 22 items in this hopper, that means it, it gives a signal strength of 1. If there's 23 items in the hopper, it'll give a signal strength of 2. Which, if you come round here, it means that this redstone dust right here will come down to here if there was one more item in this hopper. Right, I understand that. I'm actually with you. Okay, yeah. so... And then, what would happen if the redstone dust came down to here, the redstone power came down to here? It will go into this repeater, right down the bottom here, unpower this torch, Yep. One round and four. then it'll unlock the hopper so it can go through. Now, you also need one item in this bottom one as well. Okay. So, one item in this bottom one. Now, if you chuck the code in, this one works. Like so. Pow! You'll they see, your redstone turns on. Awesome. Yeah. And then you can link these hoppers up to, like, a dispenser that dispenses it back at you or something, or a chest that puts it back in the chest for you. Yeah. I mean, we won't show us to do that this time. I mean, it's fairly basic. I mean, just yeah. sort of, like, add a chest or whatever, but, um... Yeah. So, it, like, if you just if someone comes in here and thinks, ooh, a hopper, clears their inventory... You know, it's not all not going to work. Yeah, only the code only, itself Only works. the code, if you look in this hop, only code's in there. Yeah. And then, all the other items get trapped up here. Now, some people might think, oh yeah, but look, um, this hopper is now filled with junk, and uh, if I like, put another item in there, yep. if you put the code in, it won't work. Uh, it, like, it won't work. See? It just yep. bounced off. So, uh, to prevent that, I believe... You um bring out the string of uh, hoppers here. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. And now, if you uh if you just chuck, and I yeah, if you chuck it in there. Hang on, what did you chuck in there? Uh, the code. Where did you chuck the code in there? Uh, in the actual one when you wanted. Okay, right. No, wait. Chuck the code in. It's down here. Oh no, that can't be right. Okay, oh, yeah, there we go. It's, it's on. Yeah, it's in. Right, so uh, what this does is if you put a chest on the end of this hopper line right here, any, cr any crap you put in oh, yeah. we'll will go into the chest. This one. Yeah, and uh, if you put the code in, so like, what I'll do is it'll, um, I'll, I'll uh. yeah, in this chest, no, wait. Oh, it still works, there you go, it turns it Yeah, off. I know, it still works. But, I want to give him a bit of uh, better... Okay, 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 so I put it into the chest, and it goes along, beep, 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 and there you go, it still turns on. Yeah, but anything else you put in the chest, like, uh, just random crap, we'll go funnel into this, as you can see here. Awesome. Boop, 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 boop. So, that is the item detection system. Yeah, awesome. And um, how would you link them up? Like, I was wondering on, like, where, where you link what, because that's the one thing which I'm a bit like, Amaga, but apart from that... Okay, so what you do is, um, if you come over here with me... I will. Oh, it's raining in our little Minecraft world again. Okay, uh, I'm here. Okay, right. That is getting annoying. Right. Um, if you look, uh, right here, see this, um, this is the torch key, you might remember it. Yep. Yep. So this is linked up to this piston. So what it does, it gives it a one tick pulse, which so spits out its block, basically. So the block's down here, powering this redstone, which powers this circuit right here. Yeah. What this is, is a double piston extender. What this does is pulls the wall out two blocks, leaving a chute, if you look down here. It leaves a chute for you to chuck your items, um, items into there. Got it. So then it will go into there, and it will funnel through the system, which I've made uh, down beneath here. Oh, where have you gone? There you are. Oh. And this is the item detection system right here. It, look, it looks sort of scary here, but it's literally exactly the same, but you've just linked it up with some redstone and some... Um, and the other one I just compacted down. Yeah. So, so, yeah, just remember redstone and repeaters. I mean, if you've been doing redstone and been watching the whole of um, our series, then, you know, it should be fairly simple anyway to do. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, to be fair, the best way for we to mark this is that if I can do it, anyone can. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, it will be done in all this will be done in survival in July because when I get my new computer in July I'll be doing a series on redstone in survival. Yeah, it's gonna be very fun. I'm sure I'll come along for a bit if I can to help you out and um, we'll yeah, get my whole crew along and then put you blowing all your stuff up because that's more fun. Yay for <laughs> single player. Yep. Yeah. Also, don't forget our competition. It's still going on. 
for, yep. when we reach 1,100 subscribers, we're about what? 30, 34 now, I think we're away from 36 maybe, yeah. And then when we get 36 more, we're going to be giving away a free game. So it could be Tyson Fall, Infamous Second Son. Um, I'll put a link in the description and also it should be a suggested video anyway. So yeah, go have a look at that if you want a free game for PS4 or Xbox One. And you can yeah, and when we reach a mi yeah, when we reach a million subs, we'll do an, an Xbox or a PS. <laughs> yeah, whatever that generation of gaming is, we'll give out the console. Yeah, like PlayStation tw 2072, just in yeah. <laughs> But still, anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. It can be a bit confusing, to be fair, but just take it slow, follow the steps, and. Um, oh, I found a chicken. I should be fine. Chicken. Anyway, Whoa! peace.